from a report by Ahmadou Kante on the president's activities while during his week-long visit to Saudi Arabia. We will go with a short commercial break and the news continues. Don't go away. The pride we take in our brand, the work we put into constantly change the landscape and elevate real estate in the Gambia, it's compared to none. From inception, our goal was to add value to the beautiful Gambian landscape. That's why we are proud innovators of community estates. Kololi Sands is an exceptional piece of work, tailored for ultimate convenience and luxury, to bring you an element of finesse that is rare but unique in its own. This is also our pride and joy, and we welcome you to the exquisite beauty right here in Kololi and right here on the waterfront. Kololi Sands, feel the ocean breeze at your doorstep. Welcome back. If you're just watching, this is Gambia 24, and now to the remaining stories. Ahead of the commemoration marking the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Drug Trafficking, Gambia's Minister of Interior said the country is highly stable in terms of drug trafficking. However, in January of this year alone, the Drug Law Enforcement Agency intercepted three tons of cocaine at the Gambia seaport. Jordan Jaiswari has the rest of that. The theme for this year's commemoration is share facts on drugs save lives. World Drug Day is a day that is used to strengthen action and cooperation in achieving the goal of a world free of drug abuse and highlights the dangers of drug use and its threat and mobilize public support in the fight against drugs. On this day, awareness raising is undertaken by anti narcotics over the world on the effects of drugs and its ramifications on nations. Gambia's Minister for Interior said, despite government efforts in creating awareness, there seem to be a lot of misinformation and stereotype perpetrated by some individuals and groups against the country on drug-related matters. All of these are clearly intended to put the government in a poor light and cloud its sincere and remarkable efforts in fighting against drugs. This makes it even more critical to mobilize against misinformation and sheer facts. The fight against drug abuse and trafficking is a shared and common responsibility. Young people are mostly affected by this endemic. Statistics from the country's only psychiatric hospital indicated that about 60% of their patients admitted at the hospital are on undue psychosis. Minister Sonko attributed the high youth involvement in drugs to misinformation, saying it has cost the lives of many people who felt victims to drugs as a transit state in the transnational trade. Gambia is a significant transshipment point for cocaine trafficked from South America to European markets making it liable for cocaine trafficking in Africa. In recent years, huge volumes of cocaine shipped by sea and air have been seized by the Gambian authorities. Despite all this, Yanko Basonko maintained that Gambia is highly stable in terms of drug trafficking. Based on available and variable evidence, the Gambia is highly stable in terms of drug trafficking. There is continued and sustained effort in encountering the world drug problem by implementing a strong and credible drug interdiction regime. The government of the Gambia, therefore, assures all Gambians and partners that this country is far from being a narcotic state, as there are clear evidence and that legitimate state institutions are not penetrated or influenced by the world and power of drug traffickers. Honorable Sonko reiterated that Gambia is and will remain a hostile ground 
for drug traffickers. For iAfrica News, Julde Yaiswari.